What's up everybody, I'm Jason and welcome back to another dive into the Canon EOS R5. So this time around we're going to take a quick look at a custom function called Safety Shift. Now, Safety Shift is actually an old feature to Canon's cameras. It was first added to the OG EOS 1D back in the early 2000s. Though the feature didn't gain the ability to adjust the ISO until 2009 and the EOS 1D Mark IV. So let's start from the top. What does Safety Shift do and how do you set it up? So put simply, Safety Shift provides a way for the camera to make an image saving adjustment when the exposure reaches the absolute limits of a given exposure setting. So I know that's kind of vague, but here's an example that I hope will make it make, se make some sense. So for example, if you're shooting in aperture priority mode and you've set the ISO and aperture value, let's say you've used F8 and ISO 1600. But the camera calculates that for those settings, you would need a 60 second exposure for your image. Now, normally, given that the shutter speed can only go to 30 seconds, it's not going to work. And you're going to end up with an image that's underexposed by a stop with a 30 second exposure time. Now, if you have safety shift enabled, then depending on what exposure handle you have configured, the camera can change or adjust that handle to make the exposure work. So continuing with the previous example, if safety shift is set to change the ISO, then that 60 second exposure will cause the camera to increase the ISO by a stop. So from 1600 to 3200, so that the shutter speed will stay at that maximum that the camera can support, 30 seconds. Moreover, the safety shift process works going either way. It could deal with an image that would be underexposed if something isn't done, like raising the ISO, opening the aperture, or slowing the shutter speed, as well as in cases where the image would be overexposed if nothing was done as well. So that's what safety shift does. Then the next question is, how do you set it up? So on the R5 and its siblings, you'll find safety shift at the bottom of the custom function one menu page. Now for older DSLRs, at least those that have safety shift, you'll need to check your manual as Canon has moved the function around in the custom function menu as the cameras have evolved. Now that said, even going back to the OG EOS 1D, safety shift has always been a custom function and in the custom function menu. So if you don't have your manual handy, just go to the custom function menu. If your camera supports safety shift, it will be there somewhere. Now, starting with the EOS 5D Mark III and newer, you'll find three options in the safety shift menu. Those are off, TV slash AV, shutter speed slash aperture, and ISO. For cameras older than the 5D Mark III, you'll have two options, and those will be off and TV slash AV. Now, off is, of course, easy to understand. It turns safety shift off. Select this, safety shift doesn't do anything. The shutter speed slash aperture setting uh, enables safety shift and allows it to control the shutter speed or aperture when the camera is either in shutter priority or aperture priority auto exposure modes, respectively. So for example, choosing this option while shooting an aperture priority will allow the camera to override the aperture you set to save an image that would otherwise be over or underexposed. So if we go back to the previous example, if shutter speed aperture priority or shutter speed slash aperture mode was enabled, the camera would open the aperture to f5.6 instead of using the selected f8 aperture value. Now, likewise, in shutter priority mode, the camera can change the shutter speed you selected to save the image. Now, the final option is ISO. Selecting ISO enables safety shift and sets it to control the ISO speed. However, unlike the TV slash AV setting, which only works in shutter priority and aperture priority modes, ISO will also work in program AE mode as well. Now, safety shift is not available at all in manual, bulb, flexible priority, or the full auto slash auto plus exposure modes. Now, at this point, some of you might be going, well, Boy, that ISO option looks a lot like auto ISO. Why not just use auto ISO instead? And you'd be right. Safety shifts ISO mode does look a lot like auto ISO, but it comes from a different intent, a different background, and has different limitations. 
So auto ISO comes from the idea of aiding you in getting better images when you're hand holding. If you look at the configuration option, I think this becomes pretty clear. So for starters, auto ISO will only allow the shutter speed to drop to a minimum of one second, and it won't use the full 30 seconds that most cameras support. Additionally, auto ISO, at least on most modern Canon cameras, also has an auto shutter speed setting mode that sets the minimum allowable shutter speed based on the lens's focal rank length and the hand holding rule of thumb. Now on the other hand, safety shift is a last ditch mechanism to save an image that otherwise, as I've said, it would be over or underexposed. So to start with, there's the shutter speed aperture option that overrides exposure settings that you told the camera to use. Moreover, in ISO mode, there isn't a dedicated mechanism to configure the minimum shutter speed it will stop at. Instead, safety shift will let the shutter speed drop to the slowest supported shutter speed, or for that matter, if you're going the other way, the highest allowed shutter speed. Now that said, there are a few things you can do to tune safety shift. To start with, safety shift uses the same ISO range as auto ISO. So if you want to limit the maximum or minimum ISO speeds, you can limit it through the auto ISO ISO range. Secondly, even though there isn't a dedicated mechanism to control the minimum shutter speed or maximum, safety shift does obey the configured shutter speed range if your camera has that option. So for example, on the R5 here, I can limit the shutter speed range using the set shutter speed range setting on the custom function to menu page. However, changing this setting changes the shutter speed range for everything on the camera, every mode, every option. In other words, if you limited the range to say for five seconds to one eight thousandth of a second, you would not be able to use a shutter speed of 15 seconds in any exposure mode. Well, other than bulb, because bulb doesn't care about shutter speeds. So how might you use this instead of auto ISO? Well, the example that prompted this video was for shooting day to night to day time lapses. In that instance, the user wanted to have the camera shoot as long as a 30 second long exposure before increasing the ISO during the you know evening and night. And with auto ISO, the longest exposure you can get is one second. So using a combination of safety shift and aperture priority, the camera would first let the shutter speed run out to that full 30 second time before it started raising the ISO to compensate for the darkness. So that's safety shift in a nutshell. If you found this useful or at least interesting, let me know by hitting that like button. If this kind of thing seems like it might be your kind of thing, consider subscribing if you're not already. Also, if you know somebody who might find this useful, share it with them. It helps them, it helps me, it makes you look like a hero in the process, and best of all, it's free. So it's a win all the way around. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.